Good morning, it's Jill from Jill and Up the Hill and I am going to make some DIY floor cleaner. I have been using this Swiffer stuff. Um, I don't use the whole system where you actually put it onto the mop. I just sort of hack this and break this open and pour it into my little bottle I've been using forever. Um, but I feel like this just leaves a little bit of a residue on the floor and with three dogs, you can imagine I'm cleaning the floor all the time. Um, I loved it because of the scent and I'm not a big perfumey person, but I was just like, oh, it smells so clean and I like it. But I feel like when I'm especially wearing certain shoes, I can like feel this residue on the floor. So I'm gonna give a new DIY, which is usually the route I go. I think I was just being lazy trying this stuff um, and it just smelled so good. So I'm gonna try and make something that is effective, smells good, and hopefully doesn't leave a residue on the floor. So let's give it a go. Okay, so I've gathered all the ingredients, which is not very much, which I really like about this recipe to start off with. So it's two cups of warm water. You're going to do a half cup of distilled white vinegar, a quarter cup of the 70% isopropyl alcohol, and an eighth of a teaspoon of liquid dish soap, which means I'm just going to put a drop. I'm not measuring that. And um, this is five to ten drops of essentials, essential oil, so I'll probably go, I don't know, I might just start with five and see how that is, because once again, I'm trying to avoid any residue, so we'll see how that goes. Okie dokie. Got my hot, or I put hot because I figured by the time I got it all together, it would be warm, <laughs> so we'll see. All right, so I'm going to do my isopropyl alcohol, which will help it dry faster. That's what's in a lot of the um, Swiffer type uh, formulas. My distilled white vinegar that's filled to the brim, so this should be fun. Here we go. Oh. Oh, what is that? So half cup of white distilled vinegar. I'm doing like a drop of dish soap. One, two, three, four, five. Eh. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's just go all out. Fresh lemony smelling uh, floor stuff floor cleaner can't be a bad thing. I'm gonna give it a little swirl because that soap is not very incorporated. There we go. Oh, let me use my little handy cute funnel here, let's see. That's perfect. That fills it up to about, mm, feels like about here. So that's pretty good. It's quick and easy. And I like the idea of cleaning with something warm. I think that'll help loosen everything up. All right, so I've got my cleaner and my little old, I've been using this <laughs> spray bottle forever, this Bruce. My mom recommended it and it is nice, but it's a little pricey and I don't think it's that much better than anything else so um and then another thing i use is i use my swiffer little for the disposable things but i don't use those i actually bought the um reusable they've got this little elastic on them so these are little moppers for i think they're for steamers like for a steam cleaner but they work great because you can actually just put them right over your swiffer and i promise you it's clean it's just been used a bazillion times so um so it makes it nice because then you can just toss it in the uh in the wash and you've got plenty i think they come in like packs of six or twelve or something like that but i love them and like i said with three dogs i can't be without them so i'm gonna get to cleaning and let you know how i like it all right i just finished all the floors 
um, upstairs at least. And I think it's really pretty good. I'm going to keep it up with this, um, keep going with it and see if I like it, but it dries really quickly. Um, I mean, the alcohol in there, obviously it would, but it smells more like vinegar than the, uh, than the um, essential oils. I mean, you get a little lemon hint, but I don't mind the vinegar. Um, my mom always cleaned with vinegar growing up, so just I equate that with clean, so no problem for me. So I'll definitely keep it up, and um, I'll put the ingredients down below or the recipe for it down below, and um, I think it's great, and it's super easy to whip up, and I still have you know quite a bit left, although I do like the idea of using the warm water to clean the floors, but you know, we'll see how it goes. I think it'll be just as effective without it, but I think to start off and, and really try to get that residue up, having the warm water is, is really helpful. So I'll keep you posted. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe and have a great day.